Hey there, welcome to Growman. Welcome back to another session of discussing some important clinical cases uh, from the medicine rheumatology. Okay, so this will be a quick uh, recall kind of a video in which we will be discussing the important previous year questions from the rheumatology and uh, the basis of this uh, video is that we will not be discussing the whole case. We will be just looking at the hint or the buzzwords which you must find in the question to uh, come to your diagnosis or to come to the correct option what the examiner is asking you. Okay, so already I have uploaded 2-3 videos on the buzzword. So do watch those videos also in which there is a mixed bag videos then hematology cases are described. Okay, so let's start the video. Uh, first question, 30 years female and pain in the joints of the hand and rash on the dorsum of the hand. Along with that you see two other findings like the skin in duration and the skin tightening tightening what is the diagnosis and also an image based question was given of this uh, hand in which the skin was completely like red swollen and there were rashes present okay and the option uh, the answer is the sclero Derma. okay so one thing which you must remember from this rheumatology is that all the rheumatology cases they all are almost the autoimmune body uh, autoimmune diseases and there is formation of the antibodies okay so these all things are most common seen in the females and whenever you see some autoimmune disease and a female and uh, involvement of the skin or joints then think in terms of the rheumatology uh, answers and try to find those answers in the option okay so the first diagnosis is the scleroderma see it is simple only see sclero means some sclerotic changes and derma means involvement of the uh, skin so there will be skin manifestations and along with that some sclerosis kind of thing and it is most commonly seen in the females then female with joint pain difficulty in swallowing dry food see dry then jittery uh, sensation below the eyes because of the dry eyes okay so they can just give this or in other words they can give the dry eyes okay then anemia normochromic normocytic anemia and increase in the esr and you can see two important findings in this positive ana antibody and positive rho antibody see whenever you see these things in the question like dry 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 uh, something they are describing like dry mouth dry eyes uh, decreased secretions then these antibodies then the answer will be the Sjogren syndrome and the other word for this uh, can be also called as the Sika syndrome Sika means the dryness so this is also called as a syndrome of dryness and females most common okay joint pain rahingi to rheumatological conditions and then along with that dry 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 describe rahingi question me and you need to look at these antibodies also because these antibodies will play an important role in uh, getting you to the right diagnosis like for example see isme to anti ro antibody diya gaya hai but in case of SLD they can be written like the anti smith antibody or the anti ds uh, double strand dna antibody okay so these antibodies are pathognomic for the SLE and they, they can also give RA factor is positive. So RA factor is for rheumatoid because see the questions which have joint involvement common rahegi, okay? so skin ki rash bhi common rahegi in pe. and if they have given these two and uske saath, if they uh, describe these uh, uh, particular antibodies then it will be easier for you all now to reach to the correct diagnosis so you need to look at each and important each and every important thing that is described in the question okay then another important thing which you must remember from the Sjogren syndrome is that for the testing of the dry eyes we will be using the shimmer test okay so shimmer test ki jo hai, uh, image based question is also asked in all asked in integration with the ophthalmology and what we will be doing is ye eyes hai, hai. so we will be putting a paper in which there is marking like 1 mm 2 mm 3 mm and we will be looking at the time when the paper will be getting uh, wet and that one is called as the shimmer test then uh, obese women with pain in both the knees and you can hear a click sound while walking so what is the diagnosis so it is a simple case of the osteoarthritis and it is simple right osteo means involvement of the bone and arthritis joint so don't know both uh, joint as well as the bone is involved and obese woman hai and here a click sound hai. simple hai bhi osteoarthritis and it is also a pyq then moving on to the next question uh, 
so before discussing the question let me say another important thing that i have already uploaded a complete video on the rheumatology till conditions in the name with the name of the medicine revision and in that the, all the rheumatological conditions which you must know for the fmg have been described like uh, the whole clinical uh, uh, scenario is discussed then the investigation of stress, the treatment how will you identify it, everything so do watch that video also the link will be given in the description box okay then uh, so let's move to the question lady with joint pain low grade fever and rash on the sun exposed parts and a n a positive c sun exposed past means photosensitivity and a positive a n a so this is a classical finding seen with the s l e which is the systemic lupus erythromatosis and the other things that can be described in the question like for this rash you know uh, sun exposed parts this can be also described as the butterfly rash and whenever you see this butterfly rash described then if in the option SL is there then mark that one as the answer okay if you say synovitis dikta hai this uh, joint pain this can be called as the synovitis also in the question okay then and along with this ANA antibody, there are various other antibodies which are positive in the SLE like the anti-DSTNA antibody and this is the investigation of choice. Okay, so we need to find for this antibody and then uh, the other are the anti-Smith antibody, then anti rho anti-ribosomal. Okay, so all those things are described in a video uh, in which all the rheumatological conditions are revised. So do watch that video as well then moving on to the next question a lady with rash on the nose plus cheek which can be called as the lupus perneo okay so this rash can be described as the lupus perneo and on chest x-ray you can see bilateral high large lymphadenopathy or they can describe it as the xl calcification and along with that in the question they can be described like upper limb uh, lung fibrosis and if not then they can describe the symptoms like with the shortness of breath okay so a female with shortness of breath and rashes on the nose and the cheek and on examination you find the chest x-ray with the bilateral hilar lymphadenopathy what is the diagnosis okay so this is the sarcoidosis uh, which the female is having and uh, another very important uh, finding which you need to differentiate with the, it uh, on the chest x-ray is the silicosis because silicosis is a uh, also you can see the x-ray hilar lymphadenopathy but in that it will be the male which will be affected but as sarcoidosis autoimmune so female will be affected okay so this is also an important clinical case which you must remember that is the sarcoidosis and the investigation of choice for this sarcoidosis is the bronchoscopy guided lymph node biopsy and an important finding seen on the hrct is the galaxy sign then the next important clinical case from the rheumatology that is a female with skin rash and muscle weakness bilateral and you can see two important pathognomic features like the helicotrope rash and the catron papule and anti jo antibody positivity and whenever you see these three things or even at least one thing like the helicotropic rash or the catron papule then the answer will be yes it will be the dermatomyositis and see in the name itself you can break the name and identify that what is the diagnosis or what the examiner is asking see derma means involvement of the skin myo involvement of the muscle and it is inflammation okay so muscle weakness hai, then skin involvement hai, yeah yeah and it is an autoimmune so female is the most common so uh, see these things are quite easier in the medicine because naam mein sab kuch chupa hua hai and in the exam you'll be getting even the question and the answer okay so Aram se, I've been saying this in all my videos that Aram se question ko panna, uh, options ko connect karna or fir try to choose the best option given from the uh, options. Okay. Then one important question from this dermatomyositis is the investigation of choice which is the muscle biopsy. So the perifascicular muscle biopsy we will be doing and in that we can find the periskeletal uh, neutrophilic infiltrate on the biopsy then a female with joint pain mostly the wrist joint and on examination you can see the finger deformities like the z line deformity then the swan neck deformity as a karke images they'll just describe these features and 
they can give other things in the question like involvement of the pip and the mcp so what is the diagnosis and this is a very famous question asked so it is the rheumatoid arthritis and you can expect a question from this rheumatoid arthritis in the upcoming exam also because this one is like repeated in all the topics the rheumatoid arthritis and also in the question they can describe like the rheumatoid factor positivity is there and another important uh, thing that can be described in the question is the anti ccp antibody so this is also uh, related with the rheumatoid arthritis and one question from the rheumatoid arthritis which is asked in integration with pharma is the drug of choice which is the methotrexate and the other drugs which we will be using are the demands and and also for the uh, symptomatic relief we can use the steroids uh, and the nasids so these were the important rheumatological cases uh, from the medicine which you must know and all these are the repeat topics and these are asked frequently in the exam there's another important rheumatological condition that is the gout and this gout also uh, they will be describing some buzzwords in the clinical case like great toe will be involved in it and increase in the uric acid levels Okay, so these two things are enough to identify it as the gout and uh, yeah, so these were the important things and gout will be like most commonly in the elderly male. So in the question, they can be describing the history of the elderly male okay, and the drugs on the gout. These are also important that we will be using the allopurinol then probinacid. So mechanism of action of these drugs is also important. So that's all in this video guys. I hope this video will help you. Uh, in your last minute revisions because as the exam is near and it's hard to difficult like uh, it's hard to revise like all the 19 subjects and so i am here to provide you the material uh, in a short and easy manner so that it will be easier for you to uh, read the things and you'll be understanding it also thank you so much for watching this video like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to Gromit. I am Dr. Padmini, your mentor for the FMGE and join with me on the telegram for more amazing stuff related to the FMG. Once again, thank you so much guys and all the best. May you all uh, excel in this exam. Thank you so much. Bye bye.